Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Hey guys, welcome back to another fun episode of The Wolf Among Us. I hope you guys are enjoying this lovely little series. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't really know, but I think I'm gonna go here. And then hopefully we can go there. But I like to give, like, you know, all options. So let's just start. Toad sounds somewhere. like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Gotta check up on your friends. Something's going on. I want to make sure he's safe. <laughs> And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than a day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Go. Where the frick did it go? Shit. Exactly. Hmm. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right. Just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. this Helen doesn't make this much of a mess here what kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy <laughs> You're the best buddy kind. Nothing again, huh? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. in there, okay? Okay. Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Nothing's going on, Big V. I don't know what you mean. Truly. 
False alarm is all. Sorry. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. And just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... <laughs> hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Time to investigate. Let's see here. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? And it's unplugged. Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Huh. I know he's covering. Talk to him. I have suspicions. What's this? Well, it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. He bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh? Oh well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. And his hand sounds painful. Oi! Is don't not. you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Liar. He's a freaking liar. Talk to Snow. Something's on the ground. Uh -huh. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. You're busted, dude. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Quite in something. Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Okay, let's look around a little bit more.
Claw marks. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Junior was home. Why didn't he let you in? It was the middle of a sodding night, Bigby. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Yeah, he did. Damn it. Because <sighs> you gotta hit the button so freaking fast. Ah! There's a mark over here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Or the lamp. Yep. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Yep. Well, you've had the go of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? When I'm I mean, done. I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <laughs> <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, was going there, but he said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bowels to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. 
turnaround here would astonish you, mate. We we'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. What the? No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I'm gonna pry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. When you put it that way. <laughs> that was some detective work. Love it. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. Alright, well, let's just go. Can you hear me? Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Actually, uh, did. We're go again, because there's blood. Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with No! You. No. Let me go. She. <laughs> what is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Roger. Uh, this kitchen? Uh... Dude, I think I would be running. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, there's the kitchen. Get in the kitchen. Something to ask him, 
We should do it now. What happened? <coughs> Faith. Faith. Okay, that did for me. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Still a little sticky. Just turn off the bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. When do you think that was taken? For all this, son of a well, first we better look at it. What is that? Okay, fine. It's stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hmm. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point.
Okay. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Well, the only thing I could think of is in here. And... Holy shit! Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> hey! Jeez, ever. Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <laughs> did you run? Uh, what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? What? My man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Come on. I'm bringing you in. What? Why? Questioning. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no. to... I'm D. He's dumb. Ow! Shit. <laughs> you almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Ah. Uh, what happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. 
He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I still gotta think about it. I can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. <laughs> Thanks I wish you. there was... <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. <laughs> I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Oh, Joy. Yeah, maybe I should. Here we go. <laughs> Big B. I um, just be careful, please. Always. <laughs> All right. 